This is week four of the Big Exploration and we're learning all about maths. We've all done maths at school, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But have you ever thought about how maths is studied at university or how it's used in research? In our first activity this week, you're going to explore some of the maths subjects that can be studied at university. Match up the names of the subjects with the description of what they involve. Pause the video now to have a go at the activity on page 10 of your workbook. They were some interesting subjects. Have you heard of any of them before? Pause the video now to check that you've matched them up correctly. For the past few weeks, we've looked at how research is done at university. Maths is important in all of the research that's done at university, regardless of what field the research is in. Maths helps researchers to make sense of their results. For our second activity this week, we're asking, is that really research? On page 11 of your workbook, you'll find some research questions. It's your job to think about whether these are questions that researchers have really studied, or if they're just made up. Once you've done that, take some time to think about what the answers to these questions might be, and how you would go about researching them if you were a researcher. Pause the video now to have a go. What interesting questions! Let's find out which ones were real. Can you detect a cat walking across a keyboard? This is really research. After his sister's cat crashed her computer, an American computer scientist created a program that detects when a cat is on the keyboard and safely shuts down the device. What's the total surface area of Indian elephants? This is true. This groundbreaking research by Kerala Agricultural University in India found a way to predict the surface area of Indian elephants using the elephant's height to its shoulder and the size of its footprint. How far can penguins defecate? This is real research by International University Bremen in Germany. They researched how much poop firing pressure penguins had to build up in their body in order to fling away their bodily waste. How many photos do you need to take to make sure no one in the group has their eyes closed? This is real. A researcher from the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation got so annoyed at people blinking in photographs that they came up with a formula to help with getting the perfect shot. They considered how often people blink how long blinks last, and how long it takes a camera to take a photograph in order to calculate how many photos to take. Can you predict when a cow will stand up or sit down? This is really research. A group of five researchers from the Scottish Agricultural College found that the longer a cow had been lying down, the more likely it was to stand up. However, standing up for a long time doesn't mean that they're more likely to sit down. How strange! How interesting! Have these questions inspired you to research something? Write down what you would research if you were a maths researcher at the bottom of page 11 in your workbook. There's also a space here for you to think about the equipment that you could use to help you answer these questions. Thank you for taking part in week 4 of the Big Exploration. Next week, you'll start to plan your own research question. See you then! The Big Exploration. Become independently curious.